Hi guys, Gilliam Elliott here with another educational video about medical tourism. Today I want to go over how to get into medical tourism. So I speak to a lot of startup medical tourism facilitators, um, a lot of people who are just launching their agencies uh, and companies. And so uh, I get this question uh, quite often. So I want to make a short video just to go over some basic things that you want to do when you're first starting out in the medical travel industry. One is um, taking a, a certification course in medical tourism. So at the beginning, you want to make sure you understand the common pitfalls um, that can possibly happen when you start your company. You want to know how to avoid these pitfalls and you also want to learn best practices just so you can avoid a lot of unnecessary trial and error. Um, another step you want to take is, uh, is creating a business plan for your company. Um, your business plan is going to lay out uh, your business goals, it's going to lay out uh, the methods that you're going to use to obtain these goals, it's going to go over the, over the time frame that's going to take you to achieve these goals, and really just put your ideas in a very formatted way. Uh, also, it's it, it's really good to have a, a business plan if you're planning on having an investor or if you're planning on having a uh, future business partner. Um, and it's also good for you as a business owner so you can revert to this business plan as time goes on and make sure that you're on the time frame that you want to be on and make sure that you're achieving your goals in a timely fashion. Um, the next thing you want to do is uh, is have your business model set up. There's a host of ways that you can uh, set up your company and a business model is going to help you understand how your business is going to make money, um, whether it's a commission, whether it's setting up medical tourism packages. You really want to understand what business model works best for your business and you want to outline that at the outstart of your company. Um, also, you want to set up uh, your website. And when I say create a website, I don't mean just putting any old website online. I mean really creating a website that converts website visitors into actual clients. Um, also, the next thing you want to do is create your medical tourism contracts. Um, and I have a whole video on that, which I'll link below as well. Um, but you want to make sure that you have your medical tourism contracts in place. Uh, make sure you have your patient waivers in place just to make sure that you're coordinating safe medical tourism trips, not only for the patient, but also for your company uh, and all the parties involved. Um, also, you want to make sure that you partner with credible healthcare providers. Um, this is going to be one of the most important things you do. You want to make sure your healthcare providers have certain accreditations, whether that's a JCI accreditation or any other similar accreditation, just to make sure that they're being validated by a third party and that they meet your standards as a company. And the last point uh, I'll cover is marketing your services to medical tourism clients. You want to make sure you have an adequate budget so you can attract a substantial amount of patients and uh, your company can grow and you can become ultimately an industry leader. So these are some brief points that you want to remember when you're getting into medical tourism and you're first starting out. Um, if you have any other questions, you can always uh, reach out to me. I'm going to leave my email address below as well as my social media, um, as well as some other links to related videos. But thank you guys for watching this short video and I look forward to speaking to you soon.